Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this American candy that I've got. So I seriously thought that I tasted all the candy that was out there to try. Little did I know I'd only tasted all the like British candy. But today we've got American candy, Reese's, Frankenco, Nerds Rope, Hostess Danish, Mrs. Freshly's Pecan Twirls, and then we've got a Laffa Taffy grape flavour. So this is the one that I'm immediately drawn to. This thing is large and in charge. It says that it's got berries inside and cream cheese and it has icing on top. So and I will be trying all of these today and I will rate them out of a score of 10. So let's try it. Okay, so, so far, I don't like the dough. <laughs> Wait, is this out of date? Where's the freaking date on it? Why does it taste out of date? What is going on? So I don't like the dough type thing. What's going on? It tastes like poisonous so far. And it's like too moist. That was just like the pastry still. So there's like berry in here. Let me see if I can taste this. Okay, so the berry taste, you know, it's giving it a little bit of hope, but I don't know. I don't know if I just got a bad one or what, but the bread seriously tastes like out of date to me. I didn't even like swallow this. I just picked it up. I'd give it like a one out of 10 because the the berry inside wasn't that bad. No bueno. Okay, we did not get off to a good start. I really need something sweet to like cleanse my palate. Let's try a Laffy Taffy and hope that it's better. So this is what it looked like when it opens it. Let's give it a try. Oh, the flavor's really strong. Oh, wow. I'm not used to all these flavors. Like, it is really different from English flavors, I would say. It kind of tastes like air freshener. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's good. It's got a nice flavor to it. And it is sweet. I don't know. It is like quite easy to chew. I thought that was gonna be better than like the stuff we have in the UK, like moms and stuff, but I would say that it's not. So I give that like, like a four out of 10. And if I'm tasting your like favorite candy guys and I'm saying it's not good, I'm so sorry. Like this is just my opinion, what I'm used to and stuff. It doesn't mean it's bad. I'm really drawn towards these uh, Reese's Franken Cup. They look so cool. They remind me of like Halloween. So yeah, let's open them and see what's inside. It says that they're king size. Let's see if we get a big one. Okay, okay, so this is what you get when it's opened up. It just looks like brown from the top, like a regular peanut butter cup. But let's see. Oh, there the green is. <laughs> I'm guessing the green is why they call it a Franken cup because Frankenstein's like green. And also it's like put together. Let's see what the green tastes like. Is it gonna be minty? Who knows? Okay, that literally doesn't taste like any different to a regular peanut butter cup to me. Am I missing something? Like, what's going on? I mean, it's good, but... It literally tastes the exact same. <laughs> Is this just meant to look cool and not be any different? I don't know. I mean, I love peanut butter cups. I would give them, like, a 10. And it just tastes good, but I'll give it, like, a 7 out of 10 because... I'm kind of disappointed because I was expecting something crazy, something different. <laughs> so 7 out of 10 are oh, the Franken Cups. I've tried like cinnamon twirls like fresh out of stores and stuff before, but I've never had one in a package. And there's two here, so let's see how it goes. Oh my gosh, I can smell it already. Yo, that like Mr. Freshly's thing traumatized me so bad. Like I was so paranoid this is going to be like stale bread too oh my god what is actually eh, no y'all what is actually going on this literally what is going on i think i might not buy from the place that i bought it from ever again because um this tastes gone off too like what is going on that's the inside, y'all. I literally can't even eat it. 
So I'm not even going to rate this because like literally, I don't think it's like the product's fault. Like it tastes gone off. No, no. I don't know what's going on, but I'm having no part of it, okay? In the bin. <laughs> Please, nerds robe. Give me something nice to try. You're my final hope. Oh my gosh, you guys. That looks so cute. It's like such bright colors. Like really blue. Okay, let's give this a go. Oh my gosh, it's sour. So it's got like jelly in the middle. Like a chewy sweetie. And then it's covered in like little rocks that are crunchy. So I'm not mad at this. If I was really in the mood for something like sweet... I feel like this would totally satisfy like your craving because it's like crunchy and sweet and just this is really good. Definitely my favourite thing that I've tried today. So cute. The third rope was a success. But yeah guys, that's all the candy I've got to try today. Um I'll definitely be back with another video on American Candy. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more videos to keep updated. I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Hey you guys, so it's me from the future of filming this video. So basically just a quick update on the candy haul. I ended up getting in contact with like the supplier that I bought the candy from. I told them that a couple of the products tasted like really bad and they gave me my money back because they knew that they had been like stored incorrectly or they'd been giving you know the candy out what they shouldn't have been so this is just a warning to anyone make sure that you you know get your candy from a good supplier because some of these american candy stores be wilding and it can ruin your entire experience so just thought i'll put that out there peace